Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about two issues, which is number one, Pico points and Pico trade or Pico scam, whatever I, I'm going to call it Pico scam from now on, and repacks. So let's get to Pico scam. So the Pico scam was very easy. How did the CEO and the management of Pico trade make $5 million? Where did $5 million come from? Uh, you have different revenue sources. You have the people who pay a monthly subscription fee. And that fee could be, you know, gold, silver, I don't know, platinum, all this type of uh, nonsense. Lifetime membership, I saw an ad for a lifetime membership for $200 one time. So that's how people give Pucre money, right? Or they can buy points directly, or Pucre can create its own currency. Now, all three things are very bad if you, they do it too aggressively. Pucre trade, I've been told, has made $5 million. Where does this $5 million come from, you might ask? It comes from people sending cards. And here's this kind of, uh, let's do some simple math. So $5 million, which goes in the pocket of the Pico people, let's assume that they do another, well, let's do, just do $5 million. I'll talk about the YouTubers a little later in the repacking at the end of the video after repacks. So 5 million is equal to 500 million in Pico point, which is a lot. That's how much money is taken out of the system. Let's assume that 150 users, they all put in about half a million. So again, they probably put in way more, but I'm just gonna make this easier for you guys to understand. They put in half a million of points in trading, right? So they accumulate points in the account. Pico is all about, you know, hey, accumulate points, accumulate points. But why is that the case, right? Why? have YouTubers say that Pico Trade is the best thing since sliced bread. They gotta get points in the system. They gotta get cards in the system. They have to get people with hundreds of thousands of points just sitting there. They need 150,000 users and they need all of them to have just points sitting there because eventually, as we found out, they're going to eat up your points every month if you don't do certain things, activity levels. So we have, so 500 million points comes from Pico Trade itself. They are just created so they can, you know, uh, maybe they are used for GP Las Vegas events, sponsorships, uh, paying people on Reddit to say nice stuff about them, paying their contact team, paying their admin team. I, there's a lot of points here, right? So 500 million comes from Pico Trade, just creating them from poof. Oh yeah, let's do it. Do it. 500 million points, and 500 million come from actual cards having value associated to the Pico point. So we only have 500 million of assets, right? Because the paying Redditors to say nice stuff about them, uh, having GP Las Vegas events, flying the staff out to drink and eat well, and paying the CEO exorbitant amounts of money. And I'll, I'll get to, what's crazy about this is they made, in 2016, they had a video in July, and there's two very compelling points. The guy said they made million dollars, I think, that year. And then at the end of the video, he is asked a question and go look at the video, just type in Pico Trade Startup. Uh, and he asked the owner, uh, Eric, the question was how? Will a Pico, will 100 Pico points always be equal to a dollar? Eric, instantaneously, not even thinking, yep, yep. But that's not the case. And that is not the case at all. Because when you have the currency kind of the currency is not what is worth, 100 Pico points is not worth a dollar anymore. It takes 330 Pico points to get your dollar of quote value now. So you have 500 million Pico points coming from just the creators and uh, for this instance, let's just say that it goes in their pocket directly or they spend it on lavish GP parties, promotion, sponsorships. Now the 500 million of assets, those are the cards. So you have 500 million assets and 1 billion or 1,000 million of points, right? What is a Pico point worth now? It's not a cent anymore, it's half a cent. It's a half a cent. So where did the other half cent go? It went into the pockets of the CEO. Now, is that like easy enough to understand? So we have 500 million points created so that the uh, CEOs can eat at GP Vegas, they can fly people out, they can uh, get all these big YouTubers and make great 
videos about them. They can give points to Redditors. They can give points to admins. They can give points to content writers. They can give points to your grandmother. Who cares? Like, oh, they can just create these points out of nowhere. And five million dollars, five hundred, five million dollars is what they got, right? So that doesn't include the YouTubers. That doesn't include all the things I listed. Now they could have added it. You know, they, it could have been one of. It could have been part of it, but I don't know how they do accounting. And you have five hundred million assets. Well, the Pico point is now worth fifty cents, and you might think that's oh, that's crazy. But what have I told you? It's getting even crazier. So a Pico point is not even worth half a cent anymore. It's worth one third of a cent. So it now takes. So instead of having a hundred Pico points where you can get a dollar of value and. God bless you if you started at that level. Now it would take 300, let's just call 300 Pico points to get a dollar of value. And therefore, every Pico point is now worth significantly less. The value, the difference in that is due to greed. It's due to greed. So in my scenario, we only, we only devalued a Pico point by half. In this scenario, what's actually happening today, it's crumbling and they are, and their solution is everyone pay us 300 Pico points a month. What? Okay, back to repacks. There's a lot of controversy of repacks. This is my gut feeling about repacks. I watch repacks. I think it's kind of funny. I, I don't watch it and think it's serious, right? I know some people may be tricked by the repack, but if you have $80 and you're tricked by a repack, you really, you eventually will learn your lesson and maybe it's a valuable lesson for $80. Um, I'm not saying that you should go do repacks all the time, but at the same time, the people who hate repacks the most, they have done stuff like the monthly magic box, the, the lucky mystery box, like, I mean, their own repacks. So why the hate? Because, I mean, why, why, why the hate? Uh, if you watch repacks for entertainment and they're just entertainment value because you know and you assume that people are not idiots and they all know it's entertainment, then you shouldn't really be so critical of them, especially when you yourself have done repacks. Like pretty much everyone sponsored either a monthly magic box, the lucky mystery box, which is a giant repack in my opinion. You can get a golden egg ticket or something, right? I mean, I, I look at that product, but go okay, right. So you're getting this really cool product sent to you every, every month for free. It's obviously a sponsored video. Hmm, what if they sent you a golden egg? What if they send you really good stuff in your pack and but no, they don't send it in regular people? Just like how the um, monthly Mask box worked. Everyone who was a YouTuber got their box for free on time or early. Everyone who's not a YouTuber never even got their box for the most part. And I know that because I have proof of the guy's PayPal account. Uh, I, I subscribe a screenshot for me. I have a video on it. So that's my opinion. And okay, so now getting to YouTube. Let's get to YouTube. Let's talk about YouTube really fast and sponsorships and promotional and stuff. Um, no one is a saint on YouTube. No one is a saint on YouTube. If Pico points, Pico Trade is going to give you 1.5 million points or $15,000 of value, I don't know that many people who would say no. I don't know many of the big YouTubers, and I can tell you the big YouTubers did not say no. And I go back to what happened with another YouTuber called Rocks and Box 90, and this is the first time I really saw it because previous to that time, no one's really sponsoring YouTubers. But you can you can talk about Lucky Mystery Box this, Repack this. Yes, YouTubers are gonna get special treatment because the person making the repack, the person making the Lucky Box, is not idiots, right? If they give you a Lucky Box and there was nothing good inside. No one would buy the lucky box. There's gotta be good stuff inside. The same with repacks. Even if you have no control over the seller, they're gonna send you good stuff. The same happened in a monthly magic box. All right, this was a YouTuber called Rocks and Box 90. I'm gonna talk some crap about him because he's no longer a YouTuber. You might say that's very cowardly, but I don't wanna create any more drama, so I'm gonna talk about what I know. I told him straight up, hey, the product that you're saying is 1999, which is a, a, a binder of Oros, the Dragon Avenger. 
This binder from Ultra Pro is not $19.99. Here's a link to David Adams for $2.19 on clearance. The guy still kept saying it was $19.99. He never took down the video. He just kept saying it was $19.99. And you might ask, why is he doing this? Well, if someone gives you a free box, if I were to send you something for free, you would, would you have a positive feeling or a negative feeling about it? You would have a positive feeling because it's blanking free. <laughs> like, what if someone paid you in Puka points, 1.5 million Puka points, and you never had to send out a single card, but you could get so many cards. I remember a very big YouTuber saying he had a wonderful experience with Puka Trade, and then he went on to say how many cards he received, but he never told you what, how many cards he sent out, and I could conclude he didn't send out any cards. Because why would you? You have 1.5 million points. You never need to accumulate another point in your life. You have 1.5 million of them. You, you can't get rid of them, especially now. So human nature is human nature. Just keep that with a grain. If someone's promoting a product, did they get the product for free? Hmm. Were they paid to promote the product? Hmm. Are they promoting their own product, their own repacks? Hmm. So I take everything with a grain of salt. That's why I don't get like hypocritical about people because that's just human nature. Humans will act in their best interest. Whenever I hear about like a, so I was a bi biology major and, and I did immunology at NYU. I did, I studied very high levels in immunology. I did evolution. I did genetics and all that stuff. And my view on the human, there's very few altruistic, truly altruistic people. So if you get a group of 200 people, I think maybe you find one or two of them. They're not YouTubers, <laughs> not YouTubers. And that's okay. I think that Tolarian should get donated. I think he makes really good videos and he does a very good job and he should get paid. Like he should get paid six figures. That's what he should get paid. That's my opinion. I think that if you wanted to make repacks and sell them, you should be able to do that. I think if you want to get sponsored by the Lucky Mystery Box, you can, you should do that. It's free product. Why would you say no? Um, I, I think of a, a psychology experiment where, uh, or what is it, sociology, some experiment where if if there's enough value, you can convince pretty much the majority of people to do anything if you give them the right deal. So let's assume that you have $100 and to get this hundred, or let's assume that you will receive $100, but to get this $100, there's a second person and you have to convince the second person to take an amount of money and then you both get money. Now, if you say, okay, if there's $100, I'm gonna take 95, you're gonna take five. That second person probably is not gonna say, he's probably gonna say, no, F you. I'm gonna pass off the $5 just to spite you so you don't get the 95. Now, if that was $95 million versus $5 million, then because the value is different, the ratio is still the same, the ratio didn't change, that person who's, it's a lot harder to turn down $5 million than it is to turn down $5. So that's a lot of rambling. I just wanted to get my teeth into this situation because, you know, I think it's pretty embarrassing what's happening right now. Like I'm. Like, I believe that if you're a YouTuber, go for the money, go for the money. Don't lie about it. You're, you're going for the money. Don't make excuses about it. Don't attack repacks when you made repacks yourself. I mean, yeah, you called it something different. Oh, great, you gave it a different name, but it's still you taking your cards and putting them in a pile and then sending good cards to some people and bad cards to other people. It's still a lottery. Like, how is that different just because you gave your repack a different name? Just because your repack is not single cards, but sealed items, right? Oh, there's a soccer pack. Oh, I don't know how I got this one. Well, everyone else gets like RTR packs. You got the Urza Saga pack. I wonder if that was by design or if you knew or you didn't know because... Hmm. Anyway, bye guys.